What is up, my Randy Dandies? Today we are going to learn how to make a TNT slash mortar launcher that will let you finally destroy your friend's castle from a safe distance. Let's go. All right, my Randys, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to need is a block that you can put redstone on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that block. This time I'm going to be using obsidian. And you're going to put it in two staircase-like shapes like I have here. Now you're going to take a half slab and you're going to put it in the middle in between the two staircases. Now you're going to take non-sticky pistons and put one there, one there, and then one out directly from the center. Then you're going to come back and you're going to get your main block and you are going to put it in between the pistons like so. And then you are going to take a redstone repeater and put it behind all of the pistons. Now you're going to put it behind the pistons because if you don't put it behind the pistons, the current is not going to go in there unless there's a source directly going to it. So now that you have that piston there, you're going to take two more pieces of whatever block you chose to use and you're going to put two up and then you're going to come two off. Then you're going to go... There we are. Just like that. Now, once you've done that, you can break this one if you wish. It doesn't really make a difference. It just makes it look more purdy. Because around here, we like purdy stuff. Okay, that was pretty hillbilly -ish. Right on. Okay, so now you're going to take the redstone, and you're going to wire up all of the repeaters so that they all connect at one central point. Just like a, a that. Bam. So now if we put down a lever there, you can see that all the pistons go in at the same time and retract at the same time, which is good. So once you've got that, you're over 50% done with this tutorial. I'm trying not to waste any time on this. I'm trying to get this done nice and quick so you guys can get out and build and shoot and kill people. So now that you've done that, you are going to go ahead and put redstone over here on the actual stairs, the top, or the, uh, yeah, the top part of the stair and then the bottom one. And then you're going to string it off like so. Make sure you come out far enough so that you don't clip this redstone here. And then you're going to turn the corner with it. And then you're going to put down one, two, three, four redstone repeaters. Followed by one, two here. And then one. Oops, sorry. Let's go one more. There we are. And then one. And then you're going to put down one, two, three more repeaters like so. Now, make sure you have at least seven redstone repeaters. If you don't, uh, the TNT that is actually supposed to be the one that's being launched will be ignited before um, it should be and will launch either, either blow up right in here before it even launches or it'll blow up in midair, which would kind of defeat the purpose of a cannon, I must say. So make sure you have at least seven and then tick them all the way back like you saw me do. So all the way back with all seven of them. And then when you light it, you should see that it lights up after these retract. You can see that there was a pretty substantial delay. And even when it deactivates, you can see there's a pretty substantial delay before that actually turns off, which is good. So now with the TNT mortar cannon thing, you're pretty much done. Now you just need to load in the TNT and then add the water. Make sure you add the water. If you don't add water, it's going to blow up in your face when you first try it. So add the water and then add all your TNT and that's pretty much it. Now you can just go ahead and flip the lever. The TNT is all pushed into the middle to create a compact explosion. And that baby gets launched a mile. And you can saw it detonated right when it landed, which is perfect. Now before you reload, always, always, always make sure you deactivate the, t or the lever. Because if you don't, again, it's going to blow up and all your hard work is going to go kaput. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it was pretty short and quick. Hope you guys appreciate that. And subscribe to keep up to date with my channel and all the other good stuff we're doing. And please leave some more comments for suggestions on videos, whatever, whatever. Um, I will try and get out another hate mail video here pretty quick. Uh, because some guy said he liked it, but I need to find some hate comments first. So here's a flaming penis. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you all 